My name is Nick. Um, I'm from the UK. At the beginning of last year, uh, the Lord was called me back to, to Himself again because I had gone my own path. And uh, over the time, I came back to the Lord, and the Lord began putting my mission to seek the Lord and, and just chase after His heart and everything. And uh, one day, I was just scrolling through YouTube and uh, I saw Pastor. <laughs> And uh, he was just saying the most unusual things, uh, like, in, uh, I was like, what's going on here? What is this? But the funniest bit was my spirit immediately knew that this is of God, even though my mind was like, hmm, that's a bit strange, but my spirit uh, knew immediately. And uh, then he said a few things which I love, like immortality, and, and I just agreed with that immediately because I always loved that kind of thing. When I had uh, the man of God draw. In my spirit, I could tell that this is of God and this is right, but I did not understand what it meant. From scripture, I, I understood um, where Jesus would groan in the spirit. And to me, it appeared like this was what was going on, the groaning in the spirit as a roar. So <laughs> it was something new to me. And uh, just because you don't understand something doesn't mean you should uh, shut it off. Rather, you should just open up your heart to the Lord and the Father of Truth will make His, uh, His ways known. So basically, over the whole year, I went into time with the Lord, seeking Him and everything. And um, at the start of this year, uh, I just felt like uh, God was leading me into deeper, deeper with Him. And then, uh, start of this month, actually, I began uh, hearing the voice of God telling me to come down here. And I was like, that doesn't make sense in my mind. And then I kind of ignored it, and then I went about my business. But as days went by, the voice was stronger and stronger. So one day I said, Lord, you know what? If it is you, please give me a sign. Please give me a sign. And um, yeah, that very night, actually, I saw the praying going on with the man of God. And I was like, OK, that is my cup of tea. I like that. And so uh, that evening, actually, when I asked the Lord for a sign, I got the 45 deep prayer and I began to play it. And then uh, after I had some prayer for myself, after praying for a while, I went to bed and I put it to play while I was sleeping. And it was when I was sleeping that I had the most unusual dream I ever had since I was born. Uh, I had never dreamt of the man of God before and uh, I rarely dream of ministers anyway. So basically, I dreamed, I went out to the sea in the middle of the ocean somewhere. And then there was like, if you can imagine the pyramid of Egypt, the pyramid of Giza, imagine, imagine it pointed downwards. And so there were these stairs that led all the way to the bottom of the ocean. And then I saw Pastor John down there. And then he said, come. I, said, I was like, what's going on, Pastor John? What is he doing here? And so I went down. And uh, when I reached the bottom, then he said, uh, he held me and grabbed me to his, his bosom. And he squeezed me so tightly and he began to prophesy, but I couldn't remember what he prophesied. Then he let me go and then I stood right there and he said, now wait. He commanded a being that was in the shadows. He said, come out here. And then the most unusual thing happened. A little puppy came out and I perceived in my spirit that that was Satan himself. But I was wondering, how can Satan be a puppy? The puppy was very harmless, just could not do anything. It was just very strange. And then out of the blue, like at the top of the uh, enclosed stairs at the top, they appeared like what would look like pirates, like uh, of long time ago. And these pirates, one by one, they had weapons, and then they began to throw weapons. At, and once the weapon would fly one by one, so the moment he threw it, I don't know what happened. I just quickly went in front of the weapon. One of the weapons cut me and this pirate came down. And the moment he was close to me, I just told him, this cannot do anything to me. It can't do anything to me. I'm a son of God. And then I woke up to the dream. That was so unusual. And I asked God for a sign. But uh, out of unbelief, I said, Lord, give me another sign. 
and uh, yeah, and then that happened as well. <laughs> Out of the blue, a lady said the most unusual prophecy. She said, God is going to use you to raise your sons as lions. I have a few boys, five of them, five in fact. I was like, hold on a minute, lion. I know a place where they roar like lions in my head. I said, wow. And then all the while, God had been speaking to me that this is my will. So I, I went on the website, I began researching for the, about the visa to South Africa. I went to the airport and I was allowed to go and I came down to South Africa at the immigration. I was fine as well. And uh, yeah, so I came here. Before the service started, I was praying just quietly to myself and then my voice began to come a bit louder and then I began to shout. That was quite unusual because I I usually, when I'm praying, I usually pray quietly. I am not a person who, to pray so loud. But as I was praying, then I began to shout. I'm like, what am I doing? My mind, I was like, why am I shouting? But inside my spirit, I felt like this is something I have to do. I can't put it to words. And then I remember the prophecy about my boys raising them up as lions, all coming in the same period of me having known the man of God and I don't know how the Lord does his things, but yeah, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. So I went into the service and then uh, the man of God began to teach and uh, suddenly I began to feel like uh, a vibration in my feet. And uh, then it went into my hands. And I was like, what's going on here? And then it kept on and on and on. And then I felt like my hands were so heavy and I could hardly move. I was like, then I suddenly had like a, an overwhelming kind of love come over me. This was so peaceful and so lovely and I didn't want to know anything else. I just wanted to stay there and just enjoy what was happening. Uh, I, I don't know what, it, what the Lord was doing with the feet and the hands. Even now I can still feel the vibration still going on. I don't know what that is all about. All I know is uh, it was just a peaceful, <sighs> peaceful atmosphere. Well, during the service, my prayer request uh, that I had for, before the Lord, I wanted the Lord to embrace me. That's what I wanted. And so they invited us to go to the front for anointing. When I approached the man of God, the man of God ministered to me. <laughs> In my dream, obviously he had embraced me and then I come to church in the anointing service and he had embraced me. That was a confirmation of why the Lord sent me here, among other things. But that I had to come all this way for that to be fulfilled. How the Lord done it, he had to fulfill the word that he showed me. That's just, what do you do with that? What do you do with that? What do you do with that? Uh, the nation of South Africa is so blessed and I pray that you will not be among those who will miss it because he's one of your own, uh, one of your own and he's in your own country and you feel like oh, oh it's just Pastor John I pray you don't miss it uh, that's one word to the nation of South Africa uh, God bless you all <laughs>